Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. We are hanging out at the gang hideout uh, at Clemens Point. Uh, well rested, well stocked, and ready to go for some more adventures. Uh, we just got done stealing some moonshine from some moonshiners out in the uh, swamp areas, I guess you could say. Uh, Hosea currently has that stock of moonshine uh we are gonna go speak to him a little bit later but i figure while we're in camp uh it looks like sean has a oh how's it going sean uh he has a rob homestead mission so uh let's see what he has for us here yeah. so tell me is your people uh jacobites or english lovers either my people were peasants we had no time for politics my dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone, just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches. Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a <laughs> lesson in mean. You hey, good job, Sean. Keep your cool, you hear me? Hey, uh, no, no horses allowed in the camp here. You know the rules. Right. I'll follow you, Sean. Go on. Oh, my horse is doing a little stanky leg there, I guess. <laughs> All right, Sean. Oh, look at the owl. I can get down with this soundtrack. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride. Not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. This is definitely some riding music. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box for his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that. Suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes. See? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. <laughs> what about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> now, that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stopped giving Dutch a hard time. 
about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. That's true. That's the truth, Arthur. How far is it now? Not too much further. All right. That'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. Hard left. Got it. All right. It's going to be off the road up ahead. I feel like we just did a giant circle, Sean. Up here, Morgan. Uh, you might wanna, might wanna watch that, bud. Is your horse okay? I think your horse might have a case of CTE, to be honest with you, bud. Alright, what loadout do I got? I got my trusty shotgun and my Lancaster. Alright. Here, what deal with Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. I must risk it. Risk, uh, risked it for the turkey. Sean, I'm not seeing anything here, bud. Okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Look, there's one of them out. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Oh, this is gonna go south. Real south. Let's get up to this little rock up here. Just for some cover. Seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed six posse alarm and headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. It's oh! Under. Here come the rest of them. What? Watch it. They're coming out. Sean, I thought you were going to sweet talk them, dude. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Where did you come from? Give it up now. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't you? I ain't armed. I don't know. Check him. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. We'll keep an eye on sunshine here. Oh man. You know what? Just get the hell out of here and don't look back. Don't let him go. I wonder if this place is booby trapped. Ooh, there's a gun here. So, here we are. We got some good stuff. Yeah, it looks like I got a gun I'll here. See what else you can find, Sean. Double action revolver, not bad, actually. Told you uh, but I do like my volcanic pistol. Let's get rid of the cattleman. Let's see what the pay is first. Dog this up all by myself. A proper lead. And we got a cigarette card. Nice. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Loose board. You find anything yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Uh, no, but I do want to get as much as possible. Money clip? Money, please! <laughs> I'll take it. Anything else in this room? Um... Alright, this, uh, 
It doesn't even look like a good hiding place. This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Are you just gonna leave me? All right, anything else in here? Oh, some whiskey. Or right, moonshine. Oh, we got enough moonshine. We got enough moonshine to last us for years to come. Uh, Guarma Rum? Alright, let's uh, check out where we're at on the map. Oh man, I'm a little far north here. And I do not have any uh, missions popped up on the map. Alright, well anyway, I'm going to finish robbing uh, this house and uh, the people that we just shot. And then I'm going to figure out where I'm, where I'm going to go from there. Uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, and we are back. Uh, we are just north of the Emerald Ranch, and we are about to go say hello to everyone's favorite wildlife photographer, Albert Mason. Hey! Easy there, girl. How's it going, Albert? So, you're still alive. <laughs> Mr. Morgan! How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, <laughs> very well. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant, although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks, only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. <laughs> I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. <laughs> How about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure about that, pal. Right, come on, bud. Let's go, bro. <clears throat> I'm sure this will go very well. Alright, Silver Pinto. Where did they go? Okay, they're not. It doesn't look like they're on the hilltop anymore. Dang, where they go? Did they, they freaking run away? Maybe I can just lasso this silver pinto. All right, let's uh, let's flank left, swing back around, and push him back to Albert. Our horses. Go that way. Keep moving. Come on, horses. Well, at least I upgraded from uh, sheep to hoarding, or uh, hoarding, herding horses. Yep. Come on now, get. Let's pick up the pace here. You too, Silver Pinto. Let's make you all famous. Come on now. Get going. All together now. Go on. You look pretty doing it. <laughs> Let's go. All right, everybody cooperate now. Yeah. All right, Albert, get ready. Come on. This better be on the cover of the first issue of National Geographic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Aim weapon? No, I don't want to aim my weapon. Oh, he's going to get trampled. Is he going to get trampled? Alright, I'll wait five years for that to be developed. Well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> so 
How are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here, I have a print of the wolves before they try to eat us. Hmm. It's for you. That's real fun. <laughs> oh, man. You? That's kind of a cool photo, I guess. Take care, Mr. Mason. You too, sir. You too. Is that it? Let's take a look at this bad boy, actually. Zoom in. Look at that. That's actually pretty neat. Don't mind me. I may be at this for some time. Alright, Albert. Till next time. Where did that silver pinto go? I wonder if it just ran away. For good. Well, at least there's nothing out here that's likely to eat me. There isn't, is there? No, I don't think so, Albert. <laughs> Alright, so I guess they just went up over this hill, maybe? Easy, easy. Yeah, it looks like they were gone. They were just there for the mission. Bummer. Alright, eventually I'm going to upgrade my horse. I'm not really too sure what I'm going to do with it. Uh, but as all of the missions are still here, or have popped up again, I'm going to go check out Hosea. Uh, and what we're going to do with that moonshine, actually. Uh, so I'm going to ride out there. I will be right back. All right, and we are back. Uh, I am actually coming from camp. I had a couple pelts and uh, animal carcasses that I needed to donate uh, to Pearson. Uh, we are here now by the moonshine, I guess. <laughs> How's it going, Hosea? What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. <laughs> See you later. Got yeah, thanks, John. To look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Well, this is a crazy road with the giant trees. It's actually really cool. Oh, maybe we should slow down a little bit. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, she's at the house. Oh, what a twist. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. So we have a matriarch of the family. Very interesting. Oh, is everybody following us? Oh, <laughs> they are following us on horseback. Interesting. Very interesting. Come on, horses. Be serious. <laughs> Make a loop something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it 
For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> <laughs> As you wish, madam. You oh, this should be very fun. And tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the Rhodes Saloon. That lady seems very formidable. Very smart, actually. I do like how uh, the henchmen or whatever had exact change for our payment. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. So I wonder if this could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Mosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do <laughs> that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this oh. on. <clears throat> Turkeys. Smoke this pipe. I got one. Bring your lip I think I got one. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. Broke poor Mammy's heart. Oh my gosh. There, there. Don't get mad now. Hey guys. No. Guys. Hey, they will be easy. Guys. That may have been my fault. I'm not completely ready to take it. Oh my gosh. Cuz we have a we have an issue here. Um <clears throat> well Uh you see <laughs> Hosea. Are you coming? Uh yeah. I think our uh, I think our wagon is a little stuck, bud. Can we please just deliver this moonshine? All right, there we go. Okay, we can back it up. All right, no sense beating a dead horse, guys. Let's try to walk around it. Well done, All right, you guys saw that. He was definitely in the wrong lane. I'm surprised. I'm surprised there wasn't more fallout from that. Actually, that horse got obliterated. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Gentlemen! 
gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello! Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. <laughs> Let's hand out the liquor. Oh God. This is not going to end well. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny. But boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you got to drink them. So her Put old Fenton to work. Yeah. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. Oh my God. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, raise glass. Raise bottle. Serve drink. <laughs> oh, people are gonna get mad at me. Raise glass. Raise bottle. Surf drink. <laughs> this is exactly the type of mini game that I want. Raise glass. Raise bottle. Oh, and surf. Thank you, sir. Oh, things are getting rowdy. Raise glass. Raise bottle. <laughs> I love these bar scenes. I only went out for milk. Oh gosh. Wait, am I getting drunk? Raise glass. Raise bottle. Pour bottle. Oh boy. I have a feeling the uh, Mama Braithwaite kind of sold us out here. Whew, right in the chin. I gotta get up there. This way, up the oh man. I'm coming. Let's get both guns out. Whoa, where did you come from? Oh, Hosea. Yeah, you're welcome, pal. Jose, do you not have a gun, bud? You would think an outlaw would have a gun. Oh, no. Oh, he does have a gun, okay. Oh, I'm, st I'm still Fenton. Oh boy. I don't have a rifle. 
Got more coming after us. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. So much for the uh, the no guns and uh, roads, huh? Do you? I don't think you finished that sentence, partner. Oh, I missed him. Yeah. Oh, boy. Are we on fire? Can we jump on the train? Make a getaway? Not left. Oh, that is a lot of trouble we just caused. Don't think so. Poor Moonshine. The biggest tragedy of this entire mission. I reckon it's more that don't want another gang on their patch. Oh, man. That was rough. <laughs> All right, we're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. In, what was it? Advertising. Yeah. Advertising. That woman set us up. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get punched in the face, Isaiah. <laughs> so, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Okay! 
Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, so I guess we're going to rob both the Grays and the Braithwaites. Uh, interesting development. Um, I'm not really too sure which one I will go with yet. Uh, but of course, that's going to happen on the next episode. I definitely appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you did enjoy the episode, please definitely leave a like, a comment, and if you would like, uh, subscribe so you can see future uh, Red Dead Redemption videos on my channel here. Uh, and I will see you all on the next episode.